So, you definitely have heard of CSAT score, but have you heard of DSAT score? DSAT tracks customer's dissatisfaction. So, it's a similar score to CSAT, but it actually shifts the perspective to track the portion of your customer base that is the most unhappy with your product or with interactions with your team. The way you calculate DSAT score is very similar to CSAT. So if you're asking your customers to rate their experience with your product or with a recent interaction with your team on a scale from one to five, you would consider all ones and twos as customers that are dissatisfied and you would calculate this set as a metric by looking at dissatisfied customers over the total number of customers that replied to your survey times 100. It's important to keep in mind that this metric cannot directly be deducted from your CSAT metric because both do not account for the number of customers that had neutral experience, so neither are satisfied nor dissatisfied. So they are indeed different metrics and the way it might help your team the most is to shift the perspective to focus on the portion of your customer base that is the most unhappy with your product or that had the least positive experience when it came to interactions with your support team. You may also want to combine this at with more qualitative feedback that you're gaining from customers. This is a general rule to not only look at the metric, but also if you have open questions or other ways to collect more information uh, within your survey to look at the reasons why uh, your customers had a negative experience in this case or actually directly reach out to them to learn more about what happened. So it shifts the perspective, it gives an incentive into fixing what makes your customers the most unhappy. And it's also important to keep in mind, especially in this economic environment, preventing churn is a priority for a lot of companies, reducing churn as much as possible. And looking at DSAT helps with that focus. So those are the users that are the most likely to churn and by making that one of your main metrics that you're tracking, it might help with that focus might help presenting solutions to improve the product, to improve your workflows, your processes, all of that stuff, and ultimately focus on the portion of your customer base that is the most likely to leave you. If you would like to give this set a shot, like all other customer metrics, I would suggest as the starting point to understand what your needs are and how it would help your team perform differently or implement new workflows or generally do a better job at creating great customer experiences, great support interactions, so you can give it a shot if you're running CSAT survey. The data is already there. You can just calculate it. You don't need any extra initiative and curious to hear from companies that are implementing this. So feel free to get in touch and uh, share your feedback with uh, the DSAT score. Thank you so much for listening and hope to see you all in one of our next videos.